Richard Barish, shares of Universal American, they're down around 25% so far this year. But before we talk about the stock, why don't you explain how you work with people covered by Medicare and Medicaid? <clears throat> okay, we are a Medicare Advantage company, which means that the government pays us a capitation rate for everyone who signs up with us to provide them coverage. The trade that they're making is they're coming out of original Medicare in order to get more benefits inside of Medicare Advantage, but what they give up is a little bit of flexibility on who they can go to. So we are private Medicare. And you got out of the long-term care business earlier this quarter. Why did you do that? How are you repositioning the company? For several years, many years until 2004, our core business was long-term care, Medicare supplement, and other supplemental insurance. Um, we stopped selling those products several years ago, and now we had an opportunity to take them off our balance sheet to de-risk the company and focus all of our capital and attention to Medicare Advantage and Medicaid. And ACOs, right? Accountable Care Organizations. Why is this the future? The key to, key to ACOs is putting some skin in the game for providers, and in our case, primary care physicians. We work directly with primary care physicians to improve cost and quality in Medicare. They have the most leverage in the system because a primary care provider, a primary care physician can direct someone through the system in a more efficient way. Are costs actually going down because it feels as though health care costs keep rising? Most people don't even see their bill from the hospital or the doctor. They just kind of get it and throw it out. Our, our expertise is in Medicare, and in fact, the cost, Medicare costs have moderated over the past several years in large part because many more providers are practicing through Medicare Advantage and some ACO programs. In the broader, um, broad, broader market, it's harder because it is very opaque, but there's great, quite a bit more um, transparency coming to the system, and I believe that that will help bring costs down going forward. And speaking of the system, we've seen some mammoth mergers. We've seen United Health and Humana, uh, Cigna, Aetna, the massive insurers just keep getting bigger. So how do you compete with the big guys? Healthcare, like politics, is local. We are the largest Medicare HMO in Houston, and in that market, we have plenty of scale compared to the larger national companies. We're the largest uh, sponsor of ACOs throughout the country. It's a niche business, and you know, we've developed a nice, nice uh, spot in that business that enables us very nicely to compete with the larger carriers. And then finally, I talked about the stock at the top. You do pay a dividend, though. No, I, we, don't, I we, don't pay, we don't pay a dividend, we, we, but we've paid a series of special dividends over the past several years, we've, um, we've dividended out almost $20 a share to our investors since 2011. All right, certainly worth noting. Thanks for coming on. Thank you very much. And thank you for watching The Street.